So one of my friends out of Texas asked me how we deal with all this snow up here in the north, particularly cleaning off the car. Uh, you get used to it, that's the first thing I'm going to say, and you're also going to need something like this. They sell them in different varieties, but this is the one I use to keep it in the car. I have something else in the house that does a lot better. Um, yep. And then the back window. You just want to run this brush up along the window and along the paint. Some states require that you clear off all of the snow off of the car. I think Michigan does. I know they require no snow blowing off of your car while you're driving. And snow this light, it'll blow off before I even leave the parking lot. Uh, and then this little part you just run across to get the ice off. All right. Having your car running uh, actually does help a lot with the windshields. I'm not going to lie. Um, put on the front and rear, rear defrosters and it works damn good. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, for the heavier snow, I used to have a, a pusher. It, it was called the snow mover. And you just push the snow with that. Uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good one. A friend of mine out of Texas asked me how we deal with all of the snow up here in the north, um, particularly getting it off of our cars. And the first thing I'm going to state, though, is you're going to need something like this. This is actually a snow brush. It's designed to run across your car and not scratch it and not scratch your windows. Um, yeah, let's go outside. A full version will be on my YouTube channel. Now we're just going to brush off the car. Snow like this is actually really easy. And then this part, you just run across the windshield if there is ice on it. Definitely want to check with your local laws. Because some, some, uh, some states require you clean off the whole car, like Michigan. And some states just require the windshield and probably your lights and license plate. Before anybody asks, the reason my dome lights are on in the car is because I usually keep my driver's door open a little bit. I used to have a car that would lock the instant the car would start and the door would close. 